years ago, I moved to United States to go to school. Studying finance, I was an international student. Uh, so to keep my international student status, I had to be a full-time student. And because I was on my own, I moved there on my own, I was also um, financially supporting myself. So that meant uh, working full-time as well. I was working as an assistant food and beverage director at a hotel restaurant in New York. After I graduated, I left the hotel restaurant business and I started looking for a position in the field of finance because as an international student, we have one year to stay in the States to get an experience in the field we study. And if we're lucky, if we're good, they might sponsor us to stay. Uh, so when I left, I was not much hopeful. Um, and the reason is, if you were to see my resume by then, you would understand it so well. Uh, on my resume, I had nothing related to finance. As Zorina said, before my finance degree, I had a nursing degree and I was working as a food and beverage director. So nothing related to finance. Um, I did not have any internship experience because again, I was working full-time and going to school full-time. That meant literally I was sleeping four hours on average until I finished school. So no time for internship. And on top of that, my GPA was not even high. I left the restaurant business and I started looking for a job. And a couple of weeks later, one of my bartender called me and he said one of our regular client came to a hotel restaurant and she asked about me, saying that where is Ushulai? It's been a couple of weeks now. I haven't seen her. Is she on vacation? And my bartender tells her that I left because I finished school and now I'm looking for a position in the field of finance. So this person gives her card to my bartender and says, tell Ushulai to call me. So when I got her card, I was both so excited and so afraid. I am so excited because this person was working in one of the world's largest well-known financial information company. That makes me excited. And I was so afraid because of my resume, like they wouldn't call me. But a couple of days later, they called me for interview. I went in, two people interviewed me, not the person, uh, my uh, client from the hotel restaurant, but two different people interviewed me and they literally hired me on the spot. But of course, don't keep your hopes high. They hired me on the spot because this was a really, entry-level position and it was a temp position but who cares I am in I am in this company that I would have no idea that I would be and this was my time now to show them how great I am this was an opportunity so about four or five months into staying in the company they offered me a permanent position they sponsored me for my uh, work visa, uh, followed by green card, followed by citizenship and all that stuff. I've had that opportunity to work in this amazing company with brilliant people. It was a place that I learned there more than I've learned in school. This is totally true. I've had that opportunity because of my relationship in the hotel restaurant with my client. When she came into hotel, not only I made sure that she's getting good service, good food, I was also genuinely interested in her, asking her questions, how her day was, and then listen to it. So again, my name is Ashulai Chabuk. I am an executive leadership and personal growth coach. 
I get to work with high performing, successful and powerful people. I get to work with people who know if they succeed, their families and friends will benefit from that. They know if they succeed, their colleagues and companies will benefit from that. They know if they succeed, their clients, communities, and the world at large will benefit from that. My clients come to work with me because even with the success in their past and the positive impact they created, sometimes they lose focus. My clients come to work with me because sometimes they cannot see the great in themselves the way others do. My clients come to work with me because sometimes they have a new idea they want to bring to life or new challenge they're facing. I am passionate about creating meaningful connections. And today I am honored to be sharing some insights with you all. Thank you for coming. So let's just dive in.